Game over. Meg getting crazy as Oprah stabs her in the back, exposing all her lies in latest show. Is Oprah Winfrey washing her hands of Harry and Meghan? Previously, the showbiz legend had gone to the ends of the earth for the couple, giving them a place to stay when they first moved to the States and agreeing to them with the Harry on a documentary about mental health for Apple TV+. However, the project keeps getting pushed back. Now, a source reveals to New Idea that Oprah is being encouraged to distance herself from the couple who've been criticized for being too woke and lecturing. Oprah can't afford the public backlash that's raging against them. She's hoping it will all blow over soon and they'll be able to get back to work on what she feels is a worthwhile project. Amongst those criticizing the couple is commentator Andrew Pierce, who labeled Megan's recent investment in oat milk products as tacky. It's tacky. It's royals for hire for rent, Andrew told Piers Morgan on Good Morning Britain last month. I remember Prince Michael of Kent in America many years ago was flogging bits of royal memorabilia on American TV programs. It was stopped within days by the Queen. Though the commentator was doubtful that Her Majesty will put her royal foot down this time, she won't stop Meghan Markle from doing this because they're a law unto themselves. Her Royal Highness should not be flogging coffee, even if it's environmentally friendly. While the commentator clearly had a bone to pick with the Duchess's business decision, one person who was initially on board with the oat milk train was Oprah herself. In fact, it was actually the talk show icon who announced Meghan's latest investment on Instagram last December. Oprah Winfrey has revealed that she was surprised when her interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle was labeled a bombshell. During a chat with Gail King on CBS, 68-year-old Oprah was quizzed about the unforgettable chat she had had with the couple in 2021. I was as surprised by the bombshell as everybody else, she admitted to Gail. I was doing an interview to offer them a platform to tell their story about why they left, and that was my number one intention was just clarity on why did you leave. Oprah continued, and so some of the things that were revealed in that interview came as a surprise to me and to those surprises are now referred to as bombshells. But I didn't set out to do a bombshell interview. I set out to do an interview, have a conversation that would allow them to tell their story. Gail then said, and now people say, reconciliation, reconciliation, we hope the brothers reconcile. What do you say? Oprah quickly fired back, I do not get into people's family matters. Everybody who has experienced some challenges in their families with in-laws or brothers or sisters knows just how difficult some of those situations can be, and I'm sure that you know for the royal family, it's no different. When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex moved to Los Angeles in 2020, it was Oprah Winfrey they turned to for help in getting a roof over their head of their infant son, Archie. After all, the media mogul is amongst the most connected superstars on the planet, and Oprah immediately secured a multi-million dollar Beverly Hills estate owned by her friend Tyler Perry as a temporary shelter for the young family. Even before this, Meghan had already come to rely on Oprah, enlisting her to help her mom Doria Ragler navigate the unrelenting public eye in the lead-up to the Sussex's 2018 wedding. So it was given that when Prince Harry and Meghan decided to speak publicly for the first time about their escape from Britain's royal family, they did it on the talk show Queen's Couch. But since that record-breaking and controversial interview in March, there are signs Oprah's friendship with Meghan has fractured. Women's Day understands Oprah has been left feeling betrayed by her new royal friends after it was roundly proven that they had lied several times to her during the landmark television event, including their claim that Prince Charles had cut them off financially and that Archie was being denied the title of prince.